Okay, good morning, good afternoon everyone. Shahin is here. Today I'm going to show you how we can run a software in Citrix. And Citrix is a virtual machine. But the problem we have is when you're running a program in Citrix, uh, saving the files is a real headache. And I approached IT department for a solution. Uh, they didn't have a step-by-step -step instruction, so I decided to have this one recorded and make this available for everyone from future use. So the first thing you do is, in a normal browser, you have to um, get into swinburncloud.com that is uh, let me just log out and show you how you do the login all right so when you start the swinburncloud.com it prompts you to log in and that's exactly what I do so entering the password that would bring you I mean first that's a multi-stage authentication I have to complete that so no problem it takes some while now that has been approved I'm able to get into the Citrix desktop well the next step is Citrix should be uh, here now there are two options the first option here, this is the apps. So, uh, not from here, there is something called desktop. You expand that one. And the first thing you do is you have to run the all desktop, all desktop. And the first program here is called Creative Engineering Desktop. Let's write, start Creative Engineering Desktop. And then it prompts you to run Citrix from, um, this, this is something as a process of accessing Citrix you have installed that on your local machine so open the link it's bringing up the Citrix that the, the creative engineering desktop so it takes a while now I'm here on the creative desktop So that is my creative desktop and the next thing I have is to find my OneDrive. So I do need to load my OneDrive first. So let's try OneDrive. That's OneDrive. And so this is OneDrive. Open. And all right, so have to approve the read write access. So, this address is all I need to save my file. So, have this one open, don't close it. So, that would direct you to uh, your OneDrive. And then in the start menu, you type the name of the software. I mean, in my design and innovation unit, I'm using Granta. This is the Granta, if I want to run it. Or I can try finding SolidWorks. Okay, this is SolidWorks 2000. I can open it from here. But uh, let's try that with Granta. So this is not a demonstration of how to use Granta. I'm just quickly showing you when you finish with whether Granta or SolidWorks, how to save your file. That is the startup menu you get with the Granta. And here I'm choosing level two. Um, a simple eco ID. That doesn't matter. I mean, here the purpose is I just want to show you how to save your file. Like I said, this is not a uh, demonstration of the so bill of material item one blah 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 material which is whatever material you want and then percentage landfill 
let's have a transport mode transport type kilometer and usage that is one year usage and then you want electrical to thermal 1000 watts and it's used 365 per day 0.5 hour per this is 365 per year and 0.5 hour per day and that is all you need and you create your reports or you create your report from here now imagine I want to save that on my OneDrive so when you go to save project as I'm not able to see my OneDrive here that, that's the problem I mentioned so the solution the solution is you go back to your desktop and where I did have my OneDrive open you see this is my OneDrive I just click on the address bar copy that address bar in my clipboard and then bring that back to Grand Top. so here in that address bar I'm pasting the address here I have now I can save this CS file wherever I found let me just um, go to for example design and innovation and I want to have this one how to save your grandpa using Citrix okay here we have it now it's saved next time uh, you don't have to go through all this process if you want to access your file all you have to do is just uh, this was saved in the same address uh, this, is, this is the project the project I save it that was the other and now if I go to my design innovation yet yeah, that, that's where I save this so successfully like that there hopefully that recording helps you to do the same thing with its SOLIDWORKS I mean I can show you quickly how this is done for um, SOLIDWORKS not a problem so all you do is you run SOLIDWORKS here so these are being run from the virtual machine these are not from my local machine and of course I accept okay now I want to start a new part just make it quick and it's snappy um, yep that is a sketch making a sketch in this plane making a circle finish go to the feature extrude that and approve okay now I want to save that save as you see when I browse here there is no mention of my OneDrive so the, or now now you can see it because I already worked with the grand top but starting this from scratch that OneDrive doesn't show here and the solution is you just go to your uh, window explorer and copy the address bar and bring that paste this in this address bar here and that will take you to your OneDrive now um, again design and innovation you say your solid drive on one drive okay that's it and finally 
to sh check confirm that the file is actually gone there I am going to my OneDrive that is design and innovation and here we are that file uh, with date modified this is my solid book that was the project this is the grand top file all these three files I managed to save them on OneDrive hopefully this recorded video helped you to do the same thing thank you very much for your patience and have fun <laughs>